Sanitizer or soap? When it comes to keeping your hands germ free, what is the better option? To verify, Chelsea Bimefor spoke to Brandy Jones, Director of Infection Prevention for Coliseum Medical Centers and drug, and rather Doug, <laughs> through research from the Centers for Disease Control. Here's what she found out. Soap or sanitizer? When it comes to preventing the spread of germs and protecting yourself from coronavirus, which is better? Both hand sanitizer and soap and water are great for hand hygiene. The key is knowing how to use both of those. Brandy Jones, Director of Infection Prevention at Coliseum Medical Center, says obviously neither option is bad, but the Centers for Disease Control recommends good old-fashioned soap and water over antibacterial gel. And the CDC says if soap and water aren't available, use a hand sanitizer that has at least 60% alcohol. And apparently a lot of people are doing that. A quick Thursday morning Amazon search showed a lot of sanitizers out of stock or listed at inflated prices like $159 for a liter of Purell or $79.99 for two 8-ounce bottles. Alcohol hand gel, it doesn't kill everything, just like your cleaning products at your house don't kill all organisms. So if you have something on your hands that you can see or if you've been caught or sneezing into your hands, go ahead and use the soap and water because when you use the soap and water, it's the friction and you wash those germs down the drain. So we verified health officials say soap and water is better than sanitizer, but both products are better than nothing. Remember to scrub for about 30 seconds when at a sink and rub your hands together until your sanitizer is dry. In Macon, Chelsea Bime for 13 WMAZ News. And to read all of our stories on coronavirus and germ prevention, you can go to 13WMAZ.com.